without him nothing that we would do we would do without him tonight we need him tonight praise the name of the lord tonight believers i want to invite you to bow your hearts with me in a word of prayer Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, tonight we give you praise. We give you honor and we give you glory tonight. Uh, Father, we thank you for your saving grace. We thank you for your tender mercies tonight, O oh God. Uh, we thank you, O oh God, that you are the rose of Sharon tonight. Uh, we thank you tonight that you are the balm and Gilead tonight. Uh, we thank yeah. you tonight, O oh God, that we can depend upon you tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Father, for you have said that they that call upon the name of the Lord tonight, they shall be saved they shall be delivered tonight our dependency is upon you tonight oh God father tonight in the name of Jesus as your people have joined hearts together oh God around the world in the nation of Trinidad and Tobago tonight for fellowship we release the power of your anointing upon them upon their household father if they're on the job places and they if they're in the hospitals tonight Oh, Father, tonight we decree and declare, oh God, uh, that the anointing of God had filled their homes, it oh, filled oh, the hospital oh, rooms, uh, it filled the job places tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over the very atmosphere, oh God. Uh, Father, we bind principalities and powers. Uh, we bind rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places tonight. Uh, we tear down strongholds uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we loose and set free oh God you, the God. anointing of God and this it Lord, breaks Lord, every yoke Lord, of the enemy Lord, tonight uh, in the Lord, name of Lord, Jesus uh, we decree and declare that the Holy Lord, Ghost uh, will take preeminence over this meeting tonight uh, we decree and declare that healing and restoration uh, and Lord, peace and comfort oh God uh, will Lord, issue from the throne room of grace tonight uh, comfort the hearts of your people uh, bring deliverance to them oh God uh, bring restoration to them tonight in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen, amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah tonight believers my God I know that the atmosphere is set praise the name of the Lord my God and I know my God that there's a miracle in store for you tonight a miracle is in store for me tonight praise the name of the Lord God is ready he's eager and he's waiting to move on your behalf tonight make sure that you share the life tonight praise the name of the Lord my God it's your way of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ tonight amen my God tonight we would like to enter into our worship tonight and here to lead us is our very own sister Shivon sister Genevieve and sister Kylie St. Rose we encourage you my God to change the atmosphere in your home through praise and worship tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We stand in awe of you tonight, Lord. We stand in awe of you tonight, Lord. How beautiful are you, Lord. How much blessed is your name tonight, Lord. Hallelujah.
He is mighty tonight. My praise. God, He is glorious. He we does awesome things tonight. Praise Hallelujah. the name of the Lord. But only if we allow Him. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Tonight, my God, if you have just joined us, we are the New Creation Ministries and we are coming to you live tonight, my God, with our online deliverance night service. It's Amen. an honor, my God. Hallelujah. It's a pleasure tonight to be able to come into your homes, wheresoever you might be located, whether you're on the job places, whether you, um, we are hoping that you're not in the hospitals, but if you're in the hospital, it's an honor to be there with you tonight. My God, if you're on the side of the road, praise the name of the Lord, or you're stuck in traffic tonight, my God, we want to welcome you. It's a pleasure, my God, to have you with us tonight for fellowship. Praise the, praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, believers, my God, we want to just give God all the praise, honor, and glory tonight oh, for his ready. matchless name, for his mercies that endure it forever and ever tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. the Lord. Tonight, my God, permit me to extend a happy belated birthday to our dear sister Jade Clark. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise she celebrated Lord. her birthday, my God, on yesterday, I believe. My God, I'm not sure if I'm correct. My God, days are going by so fast. But we want to we want to extend a happy belated birthday to our dear sister Jade Clark tonight. All God's richest blessings upon you, my God, and may he continue to grant you your heart's desires tonight. For those of you who are, who are celebrating your birthdays as well, my God, God's richest blessings upon you and your household. Amen. Amen. My God, we would like to extend a happy wedding anniversary going out to brother and sister Davidson, my God, who are celebrating another wedding anniversary tonight. We thank God for, for you and your families tonight. May God continue to bless your marriage union praise the name of the Lord and may he grant you your heart's desires praise the name praise of the Lord. the Lord my God tonight a special love my God and strength my God, going out to the Ramnarine family, Sister Nazarene, my God, and uh, Sister Sarah and Brother Ra Ronald this um, evening, we want to extend, my God, our love, my God, our, my God, I should say, God's continuous strength upon you, my God, and your household in this time, my God, of mourning and grief. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay. We love you dearly. Praise the name of the Lord, my God. And I know that God is going to continue to bestow upon you that strength and that grace that is needed oh, to yes. carry you through oh, tonight. Yes. Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. My God, with God tonight, believers, all things, all things are possible. possible. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. The Lord said, have he ever uh, spoken before and not yet performed? Praise the name of the Lord. He asked the question as well. Am I a man, my God, that I should lie tonight? He said, I cannot tell a lie. No. Praise the name of the Lord. So tonight, praise the name of the Lord. I want to encourage you. The promises of God, they are yea and amen, amen. my amen. God, towards you towards your children, towards your husband, your wife, my God, your entire household tonight. It doesn't matter how it may seem, my God, the circumstances, my God, they are temporal that Boy. may confront you from time to time. They are temporal. The storms Boy, of your temporal. lives, praise the name of the Lord, they are seasonal. My Boy. God, the Bible teaches us that the Lord tonight, my God, he is forever steadfast. He's Boy, yes. unmovable tonight. My my God, and when we learn how to hold on, my God, to the sure foundation of his words tonight, my God, we will not be shaken tonight. Though the storms and the floods will come in, my God, we would stand firm against it tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Because why? We have the foundation of God's words tonight. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We have not built upon sinking sand, but we have built, we have chosen to build upon the rock, which is Jesus Christ oh, tonight, hallelujah. my God, and the promises of his spoken words tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise so the Lord. I want to encourage you tonight, believers. You are out there, my God. And my God, when you look around, my God, the world, my God, and the condition that the world is in, the economy, my God, in different nations, including our own nation, may not Praise seem so, my God, promising. But my God, guess what? There's always good news in God's kingdom tonight. Oh, yes. My God, what we can see with our natural eyes don't determine, my God, our future tonight. Right. Praise the name of the Lord. I heard the Lord said that the just shall live by faith. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's not what we can behold with our natural eyes tonight will determine our outcome. But what we know to be truth, 
Praise the name of the Lord. My God, and the Bible teaches us what is truth. Thy word is truth tonight. My God, my Praise God. the name of the Lord. So my God, I want to encourage you. Continue to declare the promises of God over your lives tonight. Continue to declare the promises of God over your children's lives. My God, over your husband and your wife's life tonight. Over every situation that you might ever be confronted with. And see God move on your behalf tonight. Oh, yeah. See, my God, he dispatch angels to excel in, in strength on your behalf tonight. Why? Because, my God, they that put their trust in the Lord tonight shall be like Mount Zion. They will not be able to be not moved tonight. Be moved. Amen. Amen. And not only that, my God, when you put your trust in God, you have no other choice, my God, but to move on your behalf. Why? Amen. Because he cannot allow, my God, no one to make a mockery of his name. You know, and in other words, my God, uh, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved tonight. He don't want to be ashamed. My God, he said, if my children call upon me, I'm going to show up and show up on their behalf my tonight. God, Amen. God. So my God, tonight, I want to oh, encourage hallelujah. you tonight, believers, hold on his unchanging hands. Oh, Praise Lord. the name of the Lord. Remember, seasons come, but they must go. Nothing, my God, stays the same forever. My praise God. the name of the Lord, as long as God is seated on the throne. Amen. Praise the Lord. So praise, praise the, Lord. the name of the Lord. Tonight, believers, I've said a whole mouthful. And I thank God for each and every one of you. Know that we love you. My God, you are a valuable asset in the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And tonight, my God, God has a word for, for you tonight. He has a word for me. And I'm eager my God, and I'm waiting in anticipation for the breaking of the bread of life. And to do so, my God, tonight, it gives me great honor and privilege to bring to us all the man of God who's going to do the honors tonight, my God, no lesser person than our overseer of the, over the new creation ministry, our very own Bishop and Reverend Carl St. Rose. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor Michelle. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me, first of all, say pleasant night. To all those that are out there in Facebook land, praise the name of the Lord. It's indeed another wonderful privilege that I have, that, that we have, that we can come to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, praise the name of the Lord. We thank God, hallelujah, for being God. Praise the Lord. And we know that there is nothing too hard for our God to do. There is nothing that is impossible with Him. Praise the name of the Lord. And God wants us to continue to put our trust in Him. Praise the name of the Lord. As long as your trust is in God, it shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be removed. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, hallelujah, you know, on Sunday, I started to speak to you about walking or living by faith or living in the faith of God, or living by the faith of God, praise the Lord. And I encourage you, don't cast away your confidence. Don't allow your confidence, your, your faith in God to be cast away. Praise the name of the Lord. And I said to you that giving up or not continuing in faith, it is making yourself shipwreck. And you don't want to make yourself shipwreck. So my God... The only way, hallelujah, that you will continue to be strong in the things of God, it is if you continue to believe God for who He is. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, I want you to understand, hallelujah, and we are aware that we are saved by faith. Praise the name of the Lord. We were saved by faith. But I want you to understand tonight that Christians are not only saved by faith, but they live by faith. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are not only saved by faith, but we live by faith. I want you to know the Christians, praise the name of the Lord, we continue to rely on the promise and the power of the unseen God. Praise the Lord. So we continue to rely on the power of an unseen God rather than on what we see an experience in the visible world. I want you to know, praise the name of the Lord, our reliance must be on that unseen God. And somebody to rely on something 
or someone that is not seen, the only way that you can do that it is having faith. Why? Because faith is the substance of, of things that is hoped for and having the evidence of, of that which is not seen. You know, Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verses 5, Paul said there that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. Your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Almighty God. So Paul is saying here, hallelujah, that our faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Almighty God. I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, as I said to you a while ago, hallelujah, that we continue to rely on the promise and the power of an unseen God rather than on what we can see and experience, my God, and experience in this visible world. It means I want you to understand it is not what we can see. It is not how we feel, hallelujah, but it is what we believe, praise the name of the Lord. So my God, yes, hallelujah, I come by yet to encourage you to continue to live, hallelujah, in the faith of God. You know, Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, from verses 6 to 7, Paul said there, he said, Therefore, we are always confident. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at, whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Paul said, we walk by faith and not by sight. It is not what you can see. And my God, what we are seeing now and the reports that we are hearing now, it is not wholesome report. You are hearing, my God, that there seems to be, my God, a reduction in the supply of food. My God, you are hearing, my God, of economies that have been, oh, became to shambles. You are hearing, my God, about troubles in every corner of the earth. You are hearing, my God, about different, my God, strains of, of, of diseases that is hitting the world. You are hearing about global warming and my God. And you are hearing my God. And you are hearing that the world is, is seeking my God to be able to reduce my God. It's pollutions, my God, because of the ozone layer. And if it's not if it's not done, what is gonna happen in a very short space of time? You are hearing a lot of my God, a bad report. But somebody, I want you to understand, my God, our faith must be in God and not in the wisdom of man. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So Paul said, if, therefore, uh, therefore, we are always confident, knowing that while we are home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith. And not by sight. You know also in Colossians. Chapter 1. And verses 20. Colossians 1. And verses 20. Paul said there. If he continue in the faith. Grounded and settled. And be not moved away. From the hope of the gospel. Which he have heard. And which would preach. Or which was preached. To every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, <coughs> am made a minister. So somebody, Paul is saying it, if we continue in the faith. So it is continuing in the faith. My God, not being removed by what we can see. Not being removed by what we hear. I want you to understand, my God. The world that we are living in, it is becoming, my God, it is becoming 
more and more, my God, more and more sick, or it is becoming worse daily. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, we have a hope, we have a promise, and all the promises of God, they are yea and amen. God wants us to walk. He wants us to live by faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know also in Colossians 2 and verses 7, Paul said there in Colossians 2 and verses 7, he said, rooted and built up in him. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. And established in the faith as you have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving. And I love that. Praise the name of the Lord. I love Paul's word here. He said, rooted and built up in him and established or established in the faith as you have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving. So somebody, what Paul is saying here, it is we ought to be rooted. We ought to be grounded in faith. Hallelujah. Don't my God, yes, the doctors have their jobs to do, but I want you to understand, we don't, my God, we don't put our, our, uh, we don't put our confidence in the, the word of man. Yes, my God, I want you to understand the doctors may have done all that they could have done. And the doctors may have been saying that there is no hope. But I want you to understand that God is saying to you right now, by the strike of his son, you will heal. Hallelujah. My God, the just shall live by faith. And I've come by here to encourage you. Don't let, my God, don't let all the noise, and there is a lot of noise, my God, throughout the world. Noise in every quarters of the earth. But I want you to understand, the Bible teaches we ought to prove all things and only hold fast to the ones that is good. Oh yes, my God, the economists may be seen trouble for the future. Oh yes, my God, the doctors may be seeing problems with the different trains of, of, of the virus that seems to be coming upon us. But somebody, I want you to understand how you, you've got to believe the voice of the Lord. Who will re believe the report of the Lord? Hallelujah. I come by here to encourage you to believe the report of the Lord on tonight. Hallelujah. Father, we give him the praise. We give him the praise. You know, Paul, also in Hebrews chapter 11 and verses 1. Hebrews 11 and verses 1. Paul said there, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and having the evidence of that which is not seen. My God, now faith is the substance of things that is hoped for. And having the evidence, it means my God, hallelujah, faith, hallelujah, is laying, is hoping and believing and knowing, hallelujah, that you already have it, even though, my God, or although you did not see it. I want you to understand, hallelujah, God wants us to walk in faith. The Christian life uh, lived in constant dependence on God. The Christian life is lived on constant dependence on God. Christ has borne the or born, Christ has borne the penalty of sin on, 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 on our behalf. And now, hallelujah, he lives within us. My God, he borne the penalty of sin on our behalf. And he lived within us. Only as we trust in his power. Can we experience in practice the victory, peace, joy that our salvation has brought for us? I want you to understand, my God, it is important 
let me cast away my God of fear. A lot of us we live in fear, not my God knowing hallelujah, my God not knowing what tomorrow holds. And oh my God, you may not know what tomorrow holds, but you will know who holds tomorrow. So somebody, if you want to have your walk in victory and in peace and in joy that, of that salvation that Jesus Christ bought for you, hallelujah. You see, my God, hallelujah. it is Paul who said in Galatians chapter 2 and verses 20, Galatians 2 and verses 20, Paul said there, he said, I am crucified with Christ. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Praise the name of God. I said to you, and I say again, if you want to have that peace and that love and that joy, my God, you got to crucify your thoughts. you got to crucify yourself and how you feel. And my God, and let it be the will of God. Let it be that which is already spoken for all the promises of God. They are yea and they are amen. God will not go back on his words. God will not change his mind. You know, Paul said in Galatians 5 and verse 6, Paul said that, For in Christ, for in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision. But he said, he said, But faith which worketh by love. Faith. So my God, circumcision or uncircumcision avails nothing. But Paul said, it is faith in God which can only work by love. I want you to understand, hallelujah, now it's time, hallelujah, to crucify, my God, your fears, to crucify your affections, to crucify your lust, and my God, and let my God, the faith of God, reign in you. Praise the name of the Lord. Paul also said in, Gal in Ephesians, in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 19, Paul said there, in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 19, Paul said, And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us one? Who believe, who believe according to the working of his mighty power? Who believe? And I want to read that again. Paul said, and what is the exceeding goodness of his power to us one who believe, who believe according to the working of his mighty, of his mighty power. I want you to understand there is a working of God's mighty power to them who believe. There was a working of God's mighty power to them who believe. I want you to understand we allow circumstances and situations to get the better of us. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, that Jesus has overcome the world. And is coming for those who will learn to overcome the world. The system of this world, it don't belong to us. I want you to understand the very world that we are living in at present. My God, hallelujah. All that are in it, it don't belong to us. The Bible teaches that all that are in the world is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. But somebody, God wants us to focus, hallelujah, on heaven. But how can you focus on a heaven that you can't see with your eyes? I want you to understand the only way that you can see through those clouds the only way that you can see through that gate, that portal, hallelujah, that leads, my God, to the heavens of heaven, it is through your faith. 
I want you to understand when you have faith in God, you will see God. You know, Stephen was being stoned to death. And Stephen looked up in the heavens and saw the Son of God seated at the right hand of the Father. Why? Because Stephen was a man of faith. The man believed God. Hallelujah. Tonight, I encourage you to believe God. You see the strength of the faith or the strength of our faith. The strength of the faith by which they, by which we live and depend largely on the, on, on the strength of, of our personal relationship with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want you to understand we talk about strength, but our strength, hallelujah, of the faith by which we live and depend largely on the strength of our personal relationship with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, Paul said in Romans chapter 14 and verses 1, Romans 14 and verses 1, Paul said it, he said, Him that is weak in the faith, receive he, but not to doubtful dis disputation. I want you to understand, my God, Paul is talking about weak faith here. I want you to know, hallelujah, your strength, it is dependent upon your relationship with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Man, if you don't have a good relationship with Jesus Christ, if you don't have a personal relationship with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, then your faith will be weak. You know, Paul went on in Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verses 3. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 3. Paul said, We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet because that your faith groweth exceedingly. Your faith groweth exceedingly. And the charity of every one of you, all towards each other, are bounded. So Paul is saying here, Hallelujah, the relationship that you have with Christ, I can see that your faith is growing. I can see that your faith is growing exceedingly. Praise the name of the Lord. I come by here to encourage you. We ought to walk in faith. You ought to live in faith, in the faith of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh yes, in Second Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 8, 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 8. Hallelujah. Pray the name of the Lord. Has Peter said here, he said, I'm beside this. That is 2 Peter chapter 1. I told you. Verses 5 to 8. Peter said, I'm beside this, giving all diligence. He said, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge temperance and to temperance Patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. He said, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that he shall neither be burned nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, I love that. Yes. I love that. And that is a scripture that you should meditate on. Somebody, this is our time. In the midst of all that is happening, it is our time to shine. It is our time to show our love for God. It is our time to show our love for the brethren. And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, how we can only show that based on our relationship with God. What is your relationship with God? Your strength comes from, your strength, it comes from your relationship with God. Hallelujah. You know, in Second Peter chapter 3 and verses 80, our last scripture verse for the night, Second Peter chapter 3 and verses 80, Peter said here, but grow in grace and in the knowledge 
of our Lord Jesus and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be glory, both now and forever and ever. Amen. I want you to understand. Hallelujah. My God, Peter said it. Grow in grace. How can you grow in grace? How can you exceed in grace? It is having faith in your God. The more you learn to trust your God, the more you learn to believe your God, the more you learn to hold on to his unchanging hands and never let it go. I come by here to encourage you. Whosoever you might be, I want to encourage you to walk in the faith of God. Walk in the faith of God. Live by the faith of God. Do not cast away your confidence in your God. Hold on. Hold on. Know that the same God who have promised you, oh yes, he's abundantly able to complete, to fulfill that which you have promised. He said, not one drop, not one tittle of my words will pass away. He said, the words that has gone out of my mouth, it will not come back to me void, it will not come back to me empty, but it must accomplish what I have sent it to do. Our God is an awesome God. Oh yes. I said our God is an awesome God. There is none like unto him. There is none like unto him. He is an awesome God. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. We give you the glory. Tonight, tonight I thank God again for you. For each of you in a special way. And I want you, you are under the reach of my voice. And tonight you are struggling in your prayer. You are struggling in your prayer. You are struggling in, in being able to to communicate with God. Your relationship with God. That seems to be where you want it to be. I want you right now. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you right now. To say this prayer with me. And you're going to repeat after me this prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. You will repeat after me this prayer tonight. You will say this prayer with me. And I know that if you say this prayer from the heart, I know, hallelujah, that you will have a testimony of the goodness of your God. Tonight, praise the name of the Lord. Say these words after me as we quote from the Bible. Hallelujah. I am redeemed from the curse to the blood of Jesus. Galatians 3 and 30. I am the seed of Abraham and his blessing is mine. Galatians 3 40. I choose blessing. I choose blessings of I choose blessing instead of cursing and life Instead of that. Deuteronomy 11.26 You can quote the scripture also. And I want you to do this because I want you to know my God. Hallelujah. There is power in doing it. Hallelujah. We are speaking the scripture. Hallelujah. Come on. I want you to say that again after me. Say I choose blessing instead of cursing and life instead of death. Deuteronomy 11.26 I break and release myself from all generational curses and iniquities as a result of sins of my ancestors in the name of Jesus. I break 
and release myself from all curses on both sides of my family back 60 generations. Back 60 generations. I break all curses of witchcraft, of sorcery, and, div and divination in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all curses of pride and rebellion in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all curses of death and destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and rebuke all curses of sickness, infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of poverty, lack, and debts in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of rejections in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of double-mindedness in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of Jezebel and Ahab in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of divorce and separation in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of lust and and perversion in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of confusion and mental illness in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of idolatry in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses, of, from, from all curses, causing accident and premature death in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all curses of wandering and vagabond in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and release myself from all broken curses and negative words spoken against me by others and by those in authority and I bless them and I bless them I want you to repeat that tonight say I break and release myself from all spoken curses and negative words spoken against me by others and by those in authority and I bless them. I break and release myself from all self-inflicted curses by negative words I have spoken in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every demon hidden and operating behind a curse to come out in the name of Jesus. I command every demon hidden and operating behind a curse to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every demon hidden and operating behind a curse to come out Say, come out. Come on, say, come out. In the name of Jesus. Come on, say, come out. In the name of Jesus. Call Rama. I want you, I want you to say that with a revelation knowledge. Come on. I want you to say, say, come out. In the name of Jesus. Say, I command every demon 
hidden and operating behind a curse to come out in the name of Jesus. Come on, say come out in the name of Jesus. Robo here, say come out in the name of Jesus. Yoko Roho, Robo Mosata, come out in the name of Jesus. Set them free, set them free, release them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, your name be glorified. Your name be praised. Your name be lifted up. Your name be exalted. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we praise your name. Father, we lift up your name. We glorify your name. We exalt your name, O God. Your name is wonderful. There is none like unto you. There is none to take your place. There is none to stand before you. Worthy are you, Lord. Worthy to be thanks and praise, to be worshipped and to be adored. Blessed be the name of our God. Hallelujah. 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 Could you put your hands together for Jesus? He's worthy of all praise. Tonight, tonight, demons flee. Tonight, high kings is brought low. Tonight, principalities bow down. Powers bow down. And the name of Jesus is lifted up. Father, be lifted up. Be lifted up. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Tonight, with no further delay, praise the name of the Lord. Give God praise and thanks for each of you. Those of you who have your blessings and seed offerings to the Lord, you can just lift it as we father we offer it unto you. And Lord, we multiply it back unto your people. Bless your people. Even the Lord is, oh God, you bless the giving. Father, the day will be blessed with much more yes, to give. Father, your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Father, we praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, I just want again to encourage you, and I want you to be steadfast and to be unmovable. Always abounding in the word of the Lord, for we know that our labor will not be in vain in the Lord. Tonight, praise the name of the Lord. Also remember that our church doors are open once more, and we are at Mahokita Church from 8 a.m. on Sundays. We just have one hour of service and we go to the Aruka Church for 10 a.m. for just one hour of service. You can come out and enjoy Christ with us. Know that our doors are open to welcome you. Praise the name of the Lord. We want you to also remember the brethren that Adam, remember them in prayer and ask God to, to lift them up. Praise the name of the Lord. Ask God to strengthen them. Amen. We have persons that are hospitalized. I want you to remember little Gabriella Johnson. Take that name, Gabriella Johnson. And I want you to be lifting little Gabriella in prayer. Let us pray her through. And we know that she will not be there for long. But we also want to believe God that whatsoever the devil has planned for her worse, that it will turn around amen, for her good. Amen, amen. Today I spoke to her mom and uh, Sister Gita, we have you in our prayer. Know that our God is a big God. Amen. He's almighty. He's all powerful. Remember, praise the name of the Lord also, Sister Latoya. Pray for her. Let us pray her through. God has brought her from a mighty long way. When the doctors thought she would have, she was dying, God brought her back. And we must, when the doctors called the family, because they thought that was it for her, God has been good. 
The doctors had concern about the bleeding in the brain. The clot that went up to the brain and the brain were bleeding. And the doctors were worried about not being able to perform any surgery in the brain. But you know what? Oh, we thank God when the, the day the, my God that, that when the day the, that, that head scan and the, the result came back. The bleeding is stopped. Oh yes, the power of our God and what our God can do. And my God, when she couldn't and we're not eating anything, she's eating now and she's responding positively. We have much to give God praise for. Let us continue to lift his name and praise him for his goodness. Tonight, on behalf of my family and on behalf of the church, again, I want to also extend strength and love to Sister Nazarene and family and the children and all the family members that are mourning. We are also mourning because Ralph would have been a friend to us and we are mourning and he was a brother. Praise the name of the Lord. We give God praise and thanks for his commitment. Hallelujah. And his committal unto God. Hallelujah. And we know that he has gone to a better place. And Sister Nazarene and family, remember we love you. And we are praying or continuing to pray for you. Folks, tonight we love you again. Our mothers that are out here, we extend love to you. Praise the name of the Lord. We welcome all our guests and those who have loved in Hallelujah with us as guests on tonight. We appreciate, pray, and welcome you. And we hope that this will not be your last visit with us. But feel free to continue to visit us, be it online or in the, the physical church. Praise the Lord. We thank God for each of you out there. We love you dearly. We love you. And we look forward to continue fellowship with you. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your night. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Love you. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.